Deputies say they found that teen along this area on Pickering after that fight that involved not only the teen, but a mother, a daughter, and at some point in all of this, a witness was bit on the arm. In a 911 call from Elizabeth Rivera, you can hear the mother calling deputies to tell them that a teen had hit her. She attacked me at my kid's bus stop. Also saying that the teen had broken into homes. He's been breaking into the neighbor's residence. But an arrest report lists a timeline in which deputies find the 35 year old mother as the main person responsible. Following the teen in her vehicle while recording her, the teen walking and doing the same. That's when the report says a verbal argument began over false accusations, which led to Elizabeth slapping the phone out of her hand. The teen punched Elizabeth in the face, claiming self-defense, and then the daughter of the mother got out of the vehicle and they began holding her down and hitting her on the head. And a witness who also got it on video was bitten on the arm by the daughter, according to the report. So what started all of it? We went to Elizabeth's home. Nobody answered, but the 911 call does give some clues, and it goes back to the alleged break-in. She was coming out of somebody's property she doesn't live in, so I started recording her. While deputies say they're still looking into reports of any break-ins the teen may have been involved in, they had enough video evidence to arrest Rivera for child abuse. She's since gotten out of jail. Reporting in Flagler County, Paul Rivera, Wash 2 News.